Hi there, Delroy the Spark here again. I'm off to a job, um, it's, a, um, it's a bit of an emergency. They said um, their lights keep flickering and they showed me a picture of like something that looks like a Henley block. And they said that's getting hot when they put their hands on it, they can feel that it's hot. So sounds like some sort of loose connection to me, so I'm gonna go and have a look at it, see what I can do. Thanks for watching. In the last, I don't know if it's related, but yeah. right, in the last few weeks, I, th I th sort of thought I was replacing a few more light bulbs than oh, okay. Normal. And then, as I said, I don't, no idea if this is related. And then there were two small lights that um, popped. And I changed the fuse, and that didn't work. Change the fuse in the plug. In the plug. Okay. Yeah. And plug then it. Normally, change the fuse, change the light bulb, it's all back to normal. And there were yeah. two small lights that kind of failed. Yeah. Um, and then I've noticed a couple of lights flickering, probably in the last few weeks. I like okay, that. okay. But then on Friday evening, so it's quite late, isn't it? It's probably about mm. half past ten. Um, we were like upstairs in yeah. the lounge and yeah. all the lights started flickering. All right. And then I went into other rooms and all the lights, there were lots and lots of lights that were, that were yeah. flickering. So I came yeah. down here because I... Um, yeah. I don't know anything about this stuff at all, but okay. the, I know that, you know, to have a look at this. Yeah. Right, okay. Um, and you said this was getting hot. No, and that was, that, was, oh. that was kind of fizzing. Oh, really? Yeah. But, um, yeah, this is a, quite an old setup, this one. Yeah, because you know, this, this is, we've been yeah. here about 15, we've been here 15 years. Yeah. And... I think I'm pretty sure the house was rewired just before we came in. Yeah. I think that is probably 15 years old. Right, okay. But I've never been too sure about this because this obviously looks very old, doesn't it? It's one of those things. Yeah. Um, well, this is old, but um, I mean, it's in working order, it's fine. I, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. What I suspect with the flickering lights yeah. and this getting hot, yeah. I suspect that's loose connection. And um, so, did you say you switched some stuff off? Did you? To, yeah. To try and alleviate. Just put the kettle on now. I'm just saying because I know I put the kettle on yesterday, and it might start up again. Oh, it started up. Yeah. So should I put a few things on now? So oh, no, well, uh, no. Let's. What I'll do. Don't yeah. put anything on. Oh, Liz. I'm just gonna. Um, Liz. Liz. Don't bother. No, you don't have to prove anything. What I, What I'll do. Uh, let me just see, check something there. So. Yeah, that's a live one. If you said that was getting hot, yeah. Well, to me, that's usually a loose connection. Okay. So let me just check that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. All right. I'll check that. I'm going to have to break that seal. As long as I've been in the trade, they've always said, "Oh, you're not supposed to break the seal." <laughs> but what can you? Do? What can you do? It's an emergency. People are worried. That is the fuse. That's the actual main fuse. Is it? Gosh. I reckon it's baked in there. This could be serious. This could be a job for the LEV actually, or the EDF, whatever. Because if that's loose connections, you have to, I didn't even think of that. I didn't even look at that properly. Because that, that's your only block there. This is your main fuse. That wasn't even fixed properly. That wasn't even fixed properly. It's all loose. Uh, hello, James. Yeah. Here, just a minute. Right, now, you see this, yeah? Yeah. That is the main fuse, right? So, so is that the main fuse for... For your property. For the whole building. Yeah, right. for your property, yeah. 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 This, um, I don't know if... This may be a two-phase supply. Okay. That's just another phase there, whatever. And... Um, yeah, that's your neutral. This is your main fuse. Okay. And look, see, that should just easily pull out. Right. Right. But it's not pulling out. You can't get it off. No, what it's the, what's that's telling me yeah. is that there's loose connection. It's been loose. And, you know, um, current's passing through. It's copper. Yeah. It's heating up. It's probably welded together. Yeah. 
that's a you need to get the suppliers out. That's right. an emergency. Right. That's an emergency. That's why we obviously that's obviously why we got you out today. Just because. Yeah, that's an emergency. Oh look, this should be pulling out. Yeah. That you should be able to pull that out quite easily. Yeah. Mm. There's some sort of loose connection in there. Right. And that's what's caused it. Yeah, and that was the fizzing noise I could hear in the. Yeah, when you hear this fizzing noise, mm. that's it's 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 arcing. It's the yeah. you know it's movement. Like it's just like that. Yeah, that's... Um, so shall I just get on... I mean, we've got Octopus Energy. There must be an emergency line. So if I can... If I ring them now and I can say... Maybe well, you look, could speak to them. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll speak to them, I, yeah. Yeah, I can yeah. Turn, how can I help? Yeah, so um, I've called out a, um electrician, a gentleman who's standing next to me now, and okay. could we had a problem yeah. with a... Do you, do you want to take, take okay. don't yeah. yeah, um the um the client called me out, I'm the electrician and um oh, hello, it's Sharon from UK Power Network. All right, Sharon, yeah. Um and uh he showed me a picture which I thought was an enemy block, but when I got here, well it is, his lights were flickering and um this um what I thought was an enemy block was getting hot, but it's actually the main fuse, it's just above the main head. And it was getting hot, causing his lights to flicker and all that. So he's turned off a few things and it's cooled down. But what... He's reduced the load. Yeah, it? yeah. So... Oh, good. But me being here now, what I can... What I think... I'm pretty sure of. It's the fuse is actually welded into the carrier. The fuse carrier. Because what you've got here, you've got Where the... Where it's been overheating, is it? Yeah, that's it. You've got, you've got the main head which is quite an old one, is you've got the main okay. head and it seems like it's two phase and neutral because there's one cable that goes into a look, what looks like another fuse and then the fuse that's feeding this house. And the fuse that's feeding, okay. the fuse that's feeding this house, it won't come away from the carrier. It's just, I think it's just welded, welded in there. In, yeah, it? because... Okay. Is there it, any kind of black picture at all dripping from it? Or? No, no, I can't. I was looking underneath to see see something like that, but I, I couldn't see anything. Any smell of burning at all? No, I can't smell any burning like you usually would. You know that electric smell yeah. that you'd have? So I don't want to try and force the fuse out because the cable going into it is live from the head. So, of course. So, um, start by taking some details. What we'll do is we'll get this logged, we'll get one of our engineers to check for safety, but if you just tell him to keep away, don't go anywhere um, yeah. near the equipment and if you can just keep Okay, I'll, I'll put you back to the client, yeah? And he can give you the details. I will just need to take your name and number if I can, first of all. Oh, my, yeah, my name is Delroy James from Eastway Electrical Contractors. Delroy, Delroy James. Yeah, D-E-L. Just doing a little check to make sure that all these, these are tight. That's nice and tight. But again, again, yep, that's, they're all tight. This won't be the cause of it or anything, but I just thought yeah. it's a good idea to do it well. Because okay, you do get that. They're all very tight. So Yeah, they've lost the original screws and just yeah. used some big, long, long wooden screws. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, cool. That's fine. Yeah, anyway, um, the I think UK Power Network are on their way. It might take a bit of time. They may arrive in the next hour or you might be waiting all day. You can never tell with these people because I think they've got, have got obviously other emergencies to deal with. So hopefully they can, um, I wonder what they'll do there. They're going to have to prise that fuse out some, somehow. I wonder if it's the connection at the top. I suspect it could be where they've come out of the meter into the top of the fuse. It could be either. It could be where they can't be brought the the mains into the fuse, who knows? Anyway, I'll give them a bell later, find out how it went. Hopefully things will be sorted for them. Okay, thanks for watching, bye. Hi there, Del with the Spark again. Just to follow up on the job I'd done yesterday, with, where that was a problem with the main fuse, I couldn't get it out, because I think it had been welded in because of loose connections and all that. Um, apparently the UK Power Network came along later on and um, they managed to get it out, but they had to um, take the the tail out of that fuse and put it in the other fuse. That other fuse was alive. I think it's probably a separate phase. Um, so they took um, 
tail out of that fuse, put it in the other fuse and got it working. But they're going to come back to change their complete head, you know, because that's really old. That's really old. So they're going to come back and change that completely. So they sent me a picture of it. Um, so that's all good. That's sorted. Okay, just thought I'd let you know. Thanks.